What's the name of more fun? They don't like me. Fuck it don't burn. Drugs. Right. Have you been shot? You may not have sold drugs, but did you rob? Did you steal? Coming out of East New York, uh, you did I mean, I did something. I don't want to talk about that right now. Yeah, we're not going to criminate ourselves. A little bit, you well, know. can I just tell you a little quick story? Please, I'd like to hear it. Last week, he insulted someone on lifetime parole and didn't even realize it. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay. and homies Gosh. of blood didn't even... You asked a blood question, so I just want to be clear yeah. that I'm gonna get shot when nah. I leave the studio or rob the stand by nah. tonight. No, no, I'm a, I'm a good, I'm a good person. I'm a good person. I'm not in the gang. You didn't know he had lifetime parole, did you? Nah. Yeah. Research. I ain't know. Shut up. Right. You gotta do your research, black. I, I, I'm definitely not researching. <laughs> no more parole. You feel me? You gotta do your research. <laughs> you yeah. feel me? But more funds, what's going on, man? You fresh off the uh the soul food Yo, college tour? Listen, man, fresh off that soul food college tour. How was that? Listen, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not, matter of fact, I'm not even gonna say that. I'm gonna just be political with it. It was a good time. I loved it. It was a lot of young girls that was showing love. Twerking. Was they twerking? Yeah, they, they was twerking. <laughs> they were showing a lot of love, man. It's just different. You're doing a show out on different stages and then doing shows here. It's just different. Different kind of love. Different kind of feel. You know what I mean? It was love. Nigga, black giving that outlet. My song is readyready.com. Like, it was all love. You know, I was bodying. At the, at the end of the day, I was body and shit. Me and my son DJ knew. Yeah. So, like, I just take pride in our practice. So I could say we bodied it because I practiced exactly. enough. You right. know what I'm saying? We bodied it. But you, but you, got, but you got killed that Morgan. No, it wasn't Morgan. Wait, wait, which one was that? You saw me do my little show thing at Morgan. All right. I seen you on the side. All right. And you was like, damn, I got to be a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, Yo, you know what? I see how he's looking at me. When I did it, I said, yo, you want to be a part of this? You can do it. So at, it wasn't Virginia, it was Lincoln. I said, yo, Black. Oh, my niece went to Lincoln. I said, yo, Lincoln was turned up. Yeah, I said, was turned up. I said, crazy. I said, it, went, it went from five people to 200. It was 200. It was crazy. That's how, Lincoln, they, that's how they do it. Yeah, yeah, and, it and it's so unsuspected up there. It was too suspect. You would never think it until then all of a sudden they come out no. and like vote right? We thought that was going to be the wackest show. I felt yeah. like it was going to be the wackest show. Yeah. Yeah. I told Black, I said, yo, Black. I see how you was looking at my show, you know. You wanna get down, you can get down. So, you know, I got this little skit I do with with a joint I just he just played with Travis Porter. I got this little skit I do with me and my son DJ New. So I told Black he could be part. I ain't gonna lie, he killed me. I tell him like yo Black, you sure you got it? He like, yo son, I gotta trust me. He killed me though. I'm not gonna I'm lie. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. He did his thing. He did his yeah, thing. I, I got some shit for him. The silver fifteen. I do it. If you ain't think I've been working on that, yo, since the day I told y'all. <laughs> I got some shit for him. The silver fifteen. I'm waiting for you, man. Uh, I'm waiting. He's for too you. cocky for you not for him not to outshine you. He's going yeah. to kill you. Yeah, yo, I'm gonna kill so you. I don't know. Already, I don't know if you might you might not want to include him on the next tour. You yeah. might want to do that. No, I'm at, no, he's actually doing um he's dropping a new mixtape, uh, yeah. a revamp. I am money part two. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. so instead of just dropping it, he's doing a concert December fifteenth. Fish, fish out. Um, fish out. twenty grand vodka is sponsoring. Yeah, definitely. Hosted by Black Success. Hosted so by Black Success. I had to get my um, man's, you know. I mean, I ain't gonna tell him he did to me first, but that's my man, so <laughs> you know, he <laughs> show love at the end. That's the you know what I mean? That I mean, Mo Funds make different type of music compared to other rappers, so on and so forth. That's from. Uh, a urban neighborhood, yeah. you know, most people want to make tough music or, or rap about stuff that, you know, is not even re really relevant. I think the way music is set up right now, everyone's rapping about being happy and celebrating. Yeah. And I think that's the type of music that you make with all your singles. I think all your yeah. singles, I mean, even when you get love from Hot 97 or Power 105, they're not just playing it because it's more fun. It's good music, yeah. you know, and it's happy music that, yeah. that, that outlasts all that other stuff. Yeah, maybe the politics with that shit too, cause you know I got a joint. I had a drink with, with stocks. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Everything lit. First, self played it. You know what I mean? It's just like, like a couple months later. The thing is, like, niggas can't say they didn't hear it. I'll be feeling like they can't say they didn't hear it, cause it was on the radio. It was on power. And then like, a couple months later, these other guys got a song, everything lit. So it's like, same thing. Same thing with Let Go. Talking Same. To, to, talking about That's my son DJ No. Same thing with Let Go. Same thing with Let Go. Who took that song? Who took that song? Wait, wait, let me just want to let him put his 
this has that. <laughs> you always bring a nigga to tour. Oh, yeah, there's always a nigga back there that got so much to say. But <laughs> no, I, it's my I, fault. I, I actually grew up with no, my No, no, no. I've been having such a But I love the DJs, though. That's my I love the DJs. Let's DJ know. I love, no, but I love DJs. Mm -hmm. And you know what's so funny about DJs? DJs get all the coochie. You ever notice that? It don't even be the artist, it be the oh, DJs. This must be the wrong part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, gonna take these headphones off. No, because I just want to know the life of a DJ. Since you're talking so much, I yeah, want to know. Yeah. Especially light skinned right. dudes. The light skinned DJs yeah. get all the ass. No, up. break it down, though. New been, he been all over. Break it down, New, what you been fucking with, like what you been doing. I don't think. Been doing, I've been doing some things, you know what I mean? But right now, oh, it's yeah. about more fun. Ooh, that was a good Okay, so y'all love that. Yeah. So that's why. I, I had the joint let go. It was playing on Hot 97. Crazy. That song was getting a lot of love. That was I think, I think love. enough was the first one to break that. Was it enough? I think enough was the first you one to break that. Enough, <laughs> enough <laughs> broke it. He said, don't talk. <laughs> no, I'm saying. I think enough broke it at Perfections and then the radio. It was a, it was somebody, but that, that joint right there was getting That joint was getting love. crazy love. And then five, minutes, <laughs> five weeks later, for some reason, you get the big names all of a sudden. They got a song called Let Go. And I was got on the phone right away. I was like, yo. Yeah, I mean, but it's cool, they though. They snatch it. But why do you think that happens? You know the big thing. Sometimes you gotta listen when you got your ear to the streets like that. They listen to what up, up and coming people doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they probably just feel like nobody heard this nigga shit. You know what I mean? Let me let me just take this, revamp it, do whatever I'm gonna do with it, and put it out. Do you find it harder because it's because you haven't been in jail and you haven't sold drugs? The music you make is more of a party type vibe. Do you find it harder for people to to kind of like? play it or be more receptive to what you nah, to your music i want to say that because i live in the hood at the end of the day I, I never probably sold drugs or shot anybody but i seen it so i feel like i could talk about it mm -hmm. you know what i mean last summer it was about every weekend niggas was dying on my but do block. we really need to talk about i mean i'm not gonna say it's my opinion i just kind of feel do we really always need to say reality can't we just talk about Back in the day, Kane and them rapped about partying. We can't, when can we bring that back? Like, is I mean, there, will I, it ever happen? That's what I rap about, but I can't talk about what other people rap about. I mean, I be around things all the time where people are dying and getting shot every weekend, but that's not what I'm about. So I'm going to just talk about what I'm about. Maybe they in that kind of situation where they doing that, these kind of things, so where they, they feel like they have to talk about that. Me, I'm about having fun, performing, messing with girls. <laughs> Getting fly, getting some coochie. Yeah. Not no more, because I got a girlfriend. Shout out to your girlfriend. Hi, girlfriend. Shout out to my girlfriend. And it's, and, it's, and it's actually better. I think when you rap all that tough stuff and all that, you, you know, I'm the toughest guy in the world, I feel like you got to be that guy at all the time. People are ready to test you every exactly. night. You That's your aura now. Every That's who night. You are. Some people it's talk energy. about where right. they live at and what's happening, and yeah. then some people talk about where they want to be at in two years. Right, yeah. right. And I think I think happy music is the way to go. I mean, who want to be the guy that got to roll with 20 guys in and order it, to feel comfortable and, in the club? And, and sometimes you know? people say your happy music is good, but it ain't really happy music. It's like either you want to get paid or you want to stay home. Which one you want right, to do? Yeah, right. We trying to get paid. And, and right now, the only thing getting played is commercialized stuff. I mean, been it's, it's just happy music being played right now. That's what's happening. The thing, the thing with me is every single, like when I first started going hard, I, do, I, I pushed singles first, you know what I'm saying? I did singles, I did camera shot, I did a whole bunch of singles. I just pushed one record at a time, and all of my singles got played on the radio. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So right now, I'm not really into wanting to get my stuff played on the radio. I re I'm really about building my core following, like the, 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 the Soulful College Tour. I feel like I'm a great performer. That's why I look up to Busta Rhymes, Diddy. People like that that put on great performances, when they see me perform, yo, I performed at this show the other day. People was looking at me like this, black, black. They was stunned. Like, yo, this nigga really performed. Because like, the know, person whose show it was, they they had the regular I'm from the hood energy. Right. When he came out, it was just like, yo, I'm from my boy. And when he came out, he's like, yo, all right, everybody hands in the air. It's just like, yo, he's giving us directions? <laughs> oh, we had a concert. That's Let's the go. kind of concert that I personally want to pay for. Oh. I'm not paying for a concert where it's 15 oh. people oh. on the stage oh, you wanna, and you, you don't oh, know. We got myself. tickets right now. We got <laughs> tickets right now. Yeah. 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 The Simba 15, Fish Eyes going one down. One thing that I will do, one thing that I'm known to do, and anybody will tell you, when I give my word to something, I give my word. Can I get your word right now? You got my word. You free. I'll buy two. I'll buy oh, two. you about to. I'll buy two tickets. Oh, that's love. I'll buy two tickets. And give them away. I'll buy Oh, that's love. You gonna give them away on your show? Well, yeah, I'll give them away. Right now, who's ever listening right now, 
You text <laughs> Don Diva Radio and text at Mo Fuzz and you're going to be at that concert. 718-484-7720. Give us a call. Trust me, we, get a right. call. we get a call. Tickets is yours. Pay Trust me, it's a, it's a good show. It's a good show. You know what I mean? I, I'm a... I'm silly, you know, I like to have fun, so that's why I put in my show. I don't want to be up there all serious. It's, it's a lot of funny, humor. a lot of humor. It's good music. It's entertainment at the end of it's the day. It's like, good you know, music. you're giving an interlude to every track kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's a great thing. 